Welcome back. In the previous module, we looked at risk theme. In this module, let us look at change theme. The purpose of change theme is to identify, assess and control any potential and approved changes to the baseline. It is not just about handling the change requests, but also handling issues that arise during the project. The change theme provides a common approach to issue and change control. Issues refers to any relevant event that has happened, was not planned and requires management action. Issues may be raised at any time during the project. They can be raised by anyone with an interest in the project or its outcome. Types of issues can be request for change, of specification, problem or concern. Request for change is a proposal for a change to a baseline. Of specification is something that should be provided by the project, but currently is not provided. Problem or concern is any other issue with project manager needs to be addressed, escalated and resolved. Configuration item record captures all items, things that need to be controlled and baselines and are known as configuration items. Information about their state and status is held in configuration item records. A configuration item record provides information on the history, status, version and variant of configuration item and any details of important relationship between them. A set of configuration item records for a project is referred to as configuration library. Product status account provides information about the state of products within defined limits. Useful to the project manager to confirm the version number of products. It is derived from configuration item records and stage plans. Princeton's minimum requirements are define a change control approach, define how product baselines are created, maintained and controlled, maintain some form of issue register, ensure project issues are captured, examined, managed and reviewed, use lessons to inform issue identification and management, produce and maintain issue register and change control approach. Change control approach. Change control approach is to identify, assess and control any potential and approved changes to the project baseline. It describes the procedures, techniques and standards to be applied and the responsibilities achieving an effective issue management and change control procedure. Change control approach should capture introduction, issue management and change control procedure, tools and techniques, records, reporting, timing of issue management and change control and issue activities, roles and responsibilities, scales for priority and severity. Issue register. The purpose of issue register is to capture and maintain information on all the issues that are being managed formally. The issue register should be monitored by the project manager on a regular basis. Issue register should capture issue identifier, issue type, date raised, raised by, issues report author, issue description, priority, severity, status and closure date. Issue report. Issue report is a report containing the description, impact assessment and recommendations for a request for change of specification or a problem or concern. It is only created for those issues that need to be handled formally. The report is initially created when capturing the issue and updated both after the issue has been examined and when proposals are identified for issue resolution. Issue report is composed of issue identifier, issue type, date raised, issue report author, issue description, impact analysis, recommendation, priority, severity, decision, approved by, decision date and closure date. Issue and change control procedure has five activities, capture, assess, propose, decide and implement.
capture step, determine the type of issue and decide if it needs to be managed by formally or informally. Issues to be managed formally should be entered in the issue register. Daily log may be used to record issues being managed informally. Purpose of distinguishing between formal and informal management of issues are to ensure decisions are made at an appropriate level within the project management team. Avoid the project board being inundated with too many issues. To reduce the administrative burden on the project manager when dealing with the day-to-day -day issues that may arise. During assess step, undertake an impact analysis. Analysis should include the impact of the issues on the project performance targets, the project business case, the project risk profile, any other dependent products produced by the project. Impact analysis must cover the three areas, business, user and supplier. The issue register and issue report should be updated on a regular basis. During decide step, Minor issues may be resolved by the project manager. Other issues will need to be escalated to the project board. Escalations will be in the form of an issue report or an escalation report. For request for change, approve the change, reject the change, defer decision, request more information, ask for an exception plan. For off specification, grant a concession, Instruct that the off specification be resolved, defer decision, request more information, ask for an exception plan. Problem and concern, provide guidance to enable the project manager, solve the problem, ask for an exception plan. During implement step, the project manager may implement necessary corrective action or create an exception report to be approved by the project board. The issue register and issue report will be updated. Change authority. Project board is responsible to review and approve requests for change and off specifications. The project board may choose to delegate some decisions to person of group called the change authority. Authority should be in line with the project management and control requirements. Change budget. Change budget is the money allocated to the change authority and available to be spent on authorized requests for change. Change budget will form a part of project budget and specified in project plan and stage plans. Including a change budget in the project plan provides a more realistic expectations of the overall cost and time frame of the project. Just to summarize, as part of this module, we looked at change theme. In the next module, we are going to look at progress theme. Hope to see you there.